after 20 years of knowing somebody, they didn't really look at them like they looked black. Yeah. One day they said, what was I thinking these last 20 years? Yeah. The woman I've been looking for is right up on you.
guys stop in the rat race and just pause and reflect on how good God has been to us. We so, we, we, we're so uh, focused on where we need to go. Uh, sometimes we feel like we forget about where we come from. Yeah, that, that we, we forget about when we didn't have a one-bedroom house. And so we've been praying because the three-bedroom house is too small. Baby, I know God's going to do it and give you that mansion, but you need to pause and thank God for bringing you out of that one-room shack. And sometimes the reason why we don't go forward is because we haven't yet appreciated our journey. And, and, and I don't know about you, but I don't know about you, but I can't stand an ungrateful snow through the rascal. And they so busy running more that they don't even say thank you for what you did.
give it to me. You got to get this principle. That's what David understood. And that's why in his little, I know this ain't about English, with his little bitty self, David was able to slice bears in the two. Break them open and throw them out.
to be is help me. If you lose everything you got, don't ever lose your prayer. No. Oh my God. Because your praise represents your relationship. Your praise understands you understand that I don't praise the things, but I praise the creator of the things. And if I do my relationship with the one who brought the things, that even if I lose things, he can replace the things because he's the one who gave the things to the right things. And so if you're caught up in the things, then you walk away from the one that can replace what you lost. Oh my God. And I love God because He never gives you the same model that you lost. Yeah. He has a mentality like me. If I lose a car, I don't know if I can get the same model on the road. I got to give at least two or three years more than what I just lost. And God has a way when He gives things back to you, He loses all His bad skills. He learns who forgets how to act. He forgets how to act for God. Just play home like a 
the armor of a soldier on. And he said, you got to get this heavy stuff off of me. Because I haven't tried this stuff. Yes. But my weapon yes. is proven. Yes. What was David talking about when he was talking about his weapon? He was talking about his relationship with God. That's because at that moment, David started to reflect yes. on when he was in trouble when he was watching the sheep. Yes. And how God began to deliver him then. Yes. And David began to reflect on whatever God knew he needed God. Uh -huh. It seemed like God was always showing on time to show up. Yes. And there's something about testimony service. Yes. I know we got to the present and worship, but there's something about reflecting yes. on how big God has been. Yes. When you think about what he brought you out last time, it makes these situations seem a little small. Right. Yet yeah, y'all sit over there, I understand. All of y'all got your knees with. But there's a few of us that realize when that morning was you, and you really don't know how to pay it, and you begin to think about all those times when your life came out with a When you thought your problem was going to get repossessed. When you didn't know how your kids was going to eat.
个乌龟，你好。
I'll give you my third point. And every you gotta understand this, my friend. That sound always precedes manifestation. That sound always precedes manifestation. If you want something to manifest, you gotta say something out of your mouth. You gotta say something out of your mouth. Ask Paul and Silas. When they were in prison and they needed God to break them out, they didn't start thinking what they needed. But the Bible said they opened up their mouth and they begin to praise God. They begin to sing spiritual songs. They begin to sing sing hymns. They begin to sing old songs. They brought them over. Old songs. They brought them out the top. Old songs. That they were singing when they came out of Egypt. You could imagine what kind of songs they were singing. They were reminding themselves of the goodness of God, of the victories of God, of the faithfulness of God, of the surety of God. And you know the story they broke out of prison. But you know you gotta understand something else. When they were watching around the walls of Jericho. To shout before they saw things come down. They had to open their mouth before they saw the manifestation. When Israel went to battle, God always commanded them to send Judah first. And Judah represented praise. That if you wanted God to be in the battle, you had to send Judah ahead of the world. You had to send Judah ahead of the attack. You had to send Judah ahead of what you were doing. Yeah.